from the historic Loretto Abbey Chapel. With the kind cooperation of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents The Daily TV Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to the celebration of the daily televised Mass. This, my, I am Father Michael Coots. This Mass is being offered, is made possible by a contribution from the estate of Father Raymond Joseph Stack, of St. John, New Brunswick. This Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Father Raymond, who died a year ago on the 6th of June, 2020. May his soul and the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And as we prepare ourselves now to celebrate this Eucharist, we ask God to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the light to all nations. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the salt of the earth. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, Grant that we who called on you in our needs may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and from Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, including all the saints throughout Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all consolation, who consoles us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to console those who are in any affliction with the consolation with which we ourselves are consoled by God. For just as the sufferings of Christ are abundant in us, so also our consolation is abundant through Christ. If we are being afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation. If we are being consoled, it is for your consolation which you experience when you patiently endure the same sufferings that we are also suffering. Our hope for you is unshaken, for we know that as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our consolation. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. shall continually be in my mouth. My soul makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. 
to him and be radiant, so your faces shall never be ashamed. This poor soul cried and was heard by the Lord and was saved from every trouble. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comfortable comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. They will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they, shall, they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. There is enough matter in the Beatitudes to keep us busy, not just for one meditation, but for a whole month or a whole year. I remember way back in uh, 20, 2004, 2005, I gave an eight-day retreat to sisters at Cedar Point near Aurelia, and there were two talks a day on each of the Beatitudes, and it kept me busy. So today I'll just concentrate on one. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The story is told in ancient Rome that a woman wanted to divorce her husband, and her girlfriends kept on saying, why are you doing this? Your husband is such a good man. He does not beat you. He does not abuse you. He does not cheat on you. He gives you a whole villa for yourself with servants and everything. Why are you div divorcing such a good man? And the woman took off her shoe and held it up in front of her. Today it would be called a Prada shoe. It was expensive, it was well-made, it was beautiful. And she says, you see this shoe? And they said, yes, would you like it? They said, definitely, whenever you're finished with it, we will take it. She says, but you do not know where it pinches me and where it causes me to hurt. When we see the people who are rich, they've got their fancy cars, they've got cottages out in the car, on the lake, they have children sent to uh, private schools, we envy them. 
but we do not know where the shoe pinches. We often judge them by the externals. We often judge them by the things that they have. We are envious of what they have, and we would like to have the same. I came from a very poor family. We were physically poor, but I was definitely not poor in spirit because I envied the rich. I always thought, I wish they, I had something that they had. I always thought, how could they be called blessed with all the things they have got? They are not the blessed as we have in our gospel today. And very often in our collect at the beginning of Mass, one of my favorite prayers are the ones which says, Lord, help us, give us that wisdom, give us that knowledge, give us that understanding, that we may not be caught up in things that are trivial, but rather let our hearts be set on things that endure. And you know what? There are people all around us who are constantly giving us uh, examples of what it means to be poor in spirit. They may have a lot of things, but they are so generous. They are not attached to the things they have. One of the examples that was very good to me was my own aunt, Lena Barreto, who just passed away recently. And she would always tell me, you know what? You've never seen behind a funeral hearse a U-Haul truck. There is nobody carrying everything that they had. And she lived it out to such an extent that when she died, she had her body sent to the university for research in the anatomy department. I was very fortunate in my own life when I was appointed parish priest for the first time in 1980 to the parish of, say, of the Annunciation Parish in Malgrave II on the west bank of the river Demerara in Guyana. And when I was there, I had three parishes to take care of, or rather, yeah, three full parishes to take care of. So the superior sent me a man called Father John King. And Father John King had very little, but he had a brilliant smile. All his life he had worked on the Amazon and he had learned to do with very little things. He was 10 years older than my own father. One day, the superior told me, please bring Father John King back to the central house because I think he is slowing down and he needs medical attention. So I went to Father John and I said, Father John, look, you've been asked to go to the central house. I'll give you three or four days, get your things together, and <clears throat> we will go to the central house. Fifteen minutes later, he came to me. He had an old Coca-Cola box, empty box, and everything that he owned in his life was in that box. Two shirts, a pant, and his breviary, and a pruning shears. He loved to work in the garden. That was all that he had in his life. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Here was a man who truly showed me what it meant to be poor in spirit. And I've always held that as an example of what I want to do. In fact, unfortunately, because we live in Canada, we need a whole suitcase full of gloves and scarves and hats and winter jerseys and sweaters. But are we really attached to these things that do not allow us to be free? And the fact is, we might not have anything but not be poor in spirit. I may be envious of the things that other people have. I might be jealous and want to have to live in the lap of luxury. And I can very easily become what in German they would call a Schneidenfraude, namely someone who rejoices when people who have got everything have fallen apart or lose their money or somebody steals it or they become bankrupt. These are the things that make us rich, even though we might not have two nickels to wrap together. One of the good examples that I had in my life was a very popular priest in my faith community. 
He would get a lot of things. He would get gifts of all sorts of types. He'd get ties and socks and handkerchiefs and uh, radios and CD players. And he did one thing. He put them at the door of his room. If you ever went to his room, he says, you can't leave unless you take something from there. Here was a man who had all the adulation of everybody. He had all the things that he could want and more than that he wanted, but his heart was not there. His heart was truly set on trusting in God. And St. Paul tells us, because you have been baptized in Christ, put on the mind and heart of Jesus Christ, be rooted in his love. God bless you all. As we pray together, <clears throat> let us pray for our sponsor, for the repose of the soul of Father Raymond Joseph Stack of New Brunswick. May the Lord grant him eternal rest and the rest of all our relatives and friends who have departed. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Bishop Thomas, Archbishop Thomas Collins, and we pray for our leaders within our church and leaders within our civil community as we care for the poor, not only in spirit, but in actuality. For them, we pray to the Lord. For an increase of vocations to priestly and religious life. And in this month of June, as those who prepare for their weddings, even though they might not be able to do it in the lavish style they want, we pray for blessings on their marriage and for single people within our faith community. For them, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Loving and gracious God, as you give us the body and blood of Christ, and we are rooted in your love, help us not to fix our minds on things that are passing, but on things that endure. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Through the mystery of this wine and water, may we share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Lord God, be pleased to accept these gifts that we offer to you with humble and with contrite hearts. Pray, my sisters, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice and your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of his church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, that what we offer may be acceptable, an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created us in mercy, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Yes. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, the bishops across Canada, and this entire people of God. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially Father Raymond Joseph Stack. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not, <coughs> but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us and all our dear ones unto life everlasting. Amen. Please join me now in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you, Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us from doing evil and lead us to do what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been celebrated. Go now in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks. Our thanks to our donor for the gift of this Mass. Praise my soul, the King of Heaven, to his feet by tribute. Ransomed, healed, restored, forgiven, evermore his praises sing. Alleluia, alleluia, praise the everlasting King. Father, like he tends and spares,